insane. That's insane. No where to run, no where to hide. Cause we are the outlaws. That is a tight rack. Oh, there's another one. That's a hundred percent the match. Look at that. Holy crap! God, that thing's cool. I'm out of breath already. I'm ready to find a shed. Desperately need to. I am out on a piece of public as usual, um, but a lot further away than where we have been hitting some public in Iowa here. So I'm hoping there's a little bit less pressure, a little more sign. I know we still got a lot of deer that are holding their antlers, so I don't got my hopes up too much, but if I could find at least a shed today, I'd be happy. So let's go. I'm just working my way back on this fence line right here, but this is probably the saddest thing I've seen in a long time. Looks like this deer hopped the fence and its leg got stuck. What a terrible way to die. Just a fawn too. Coming up on a deadhead here. Looks like young buck. Third dead one of the day. Tyler and I are out on a, a permission piece, a private piece that we got permission to walk and this land actually hasn't been shed hunted in a very long time. So we're kind of excited about it. Um, but I just found number five for me on the year, which is exciting. Sorry, it's super windy and Tyler has our, our mic thing. So I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but I'm jacked shed this year so um, this is an old one for sure <laughs> definitely all chewed up but hey a shed is a shed and we're gonna take it this thing is no way it's just chewed all up but hey it's a shed be nice if we could find some fresh ones. Welcome back to week six. Uh, Jenny and I walked, I think it was close to like nine or ten miles yesterday, and it was like 40 mile an hour winds. It was not enjoyable to say the least. Whew. But today we finally got overcast. An overcast really helps you find sheds just because it brings the white out more so I'm out today after work to see if I can't scoop a couple let's get after it well I am on spot number two for the day um, haven't found anything yet, but I'm in an area that's kind of close to like urban, urban areas. So like there's houses on this side and there's houses on this side. So I'm hoping that I'm able to find some bucks that have just been kind of hiding out in these urban areas. So we'll see what happens, but we're just gonna start Putting on the miles, there's a lot of poop everywhere. Holy smokes. Let's see what happens. Yes, that did not take long. I'm maybe 10 minutes into this walk and I was just following this trail that's coming through these pines and it meets up with another one. And there's a little guy right here. Let's pick that sucker up. Not a giant, but we're gonna count it. Nice. Just a little two point. That's okay though. Pretty fresh. 
So hopefully that's a, that's a good start. Hopefully that the rest of this is gonna be good. I worked those cedars kind of on the top all the way back as far as I can go. And then I hopped down in this creek bottom and there's been boot tracks in here, so I'm not surprised, but I just came up on the second one uh, right there, just a little spike, <laughs> almost stepped on it. Nice. It's a small, but we'll take it. Shed's a shed. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I'm sure these, these two that I picked up here are pretty small, so I'm guessing people just miss them. But I think I'm gonna work my way back towards the truck and then uh, head to a new spot. revamping one of their archery ranges. So I'm out here building some stands for their targets and I'm gonna go walk on lunch. And here's my truck right here. And I'm building stuff back there. And I've walked past this tree. I hauled all the lumber back this. I probably did at least 30 trips. And I just found <laughs> a little broke off piece right underneath this tree. I don't know, I can't tell if it's off of like a tine or a beam or what, but I walked past that so many times, but we're gonna count it. So that was right here. <laughs> Let's go see what else we can find. I'll show you these, these stands that we're building for these targets too. So there's all the, material that I hauled past that broken pass, that broken part, but we got one stand in the works here. I think we're gonna end up making them a little bit wider so the bag can sit right in between. And then got some nice PVC roofing to keep the targets dry. Nice, 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 nice! Just a little guy, we got one. But we've been walking for maybe 10 minutes. Um, on this public piece that they have, they actually closed off a road because there's a bridge out, so you have to walk. That's the crazy thing is you gotta walk to go find these sheds. <laughs> so we're out here and they're just these cut corn strips that we're walking with these timber patches and there's a little guy right here. So let's go get that guy. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I think this is, I don't even know what number, so let's just uh, pick that one up. Nice. Nice little three point. It's nice and fresh. That is awesome. I don't know if we can get the base on there for you, but sweet. Hopefully that's the start of many for us. We're just gonna, we literally just got started, so we're gonna keep walking and see, uh, see what else we can find. <laughs> that concludes our video for week six. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. There's not, we didn't find any crazy sheds or anything. They're all just small ones, but kind of felt like we were just picking up the scraps. But, um, we got a couple trips planned. We're gonna be going out of state. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and drop us a comment and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.